going to do an update for you guys. We had the move on XRP and I've taken half off and I did it, a, a, what was it, a, like 127%. Um, remember uh, my buying over here, everything under 40 cents, that was my, uh, my uh, as you've seen previous idea and whatnot. Uh, so my average was around 40 cents and you sell it around uh, 91 a little over 91 cents uh, is where I took half and You know, that's over 127.49 I believe it was percent So there's no way I can lose on this trade the rest of this trade um, You know uh, I'm looking for as I've told you in previous videos Numbers that go all the way out to two dollars, but this is longer term um, So we'll see what happens uh, It's caught up to Bitcoin by going up to a dollar um, So what this is stated is that the case with uh, the SEC um, They're screwed and this is valid and it's going to start getting relisted on exchanges That's kind of what it's telling us and then from there if it wants to play catch up and go higher Maybe all the way up to two dollars uh, later in the year then fantastic um, If it goes back to here and under under the, the 65 cents range and, and so forth I will probably start to buy it again, right? and uh, uh, But we'll see right now the price action on Bitcoin is kind of negative But I want you to understand this is a hundred percent when you can't lose money on the trade once you take half and you're at a hundred percent profits you covered the trade, so the rest of it is just a free ride, right? It's like you doubled your investment and you take half off. It's just like you, you gained, um, you know, an extra doubled amount of money <laughs> or whatever it does. So if it keeps going up, then that grows even more. If it pulls back, you don't really lose anything, right? Because you've already got 100% profit. Um, so I, I like people to think of it that way because that's often how I trade. Um, other than that, uh, what was it? Wing was another one. This went all the way up to where we had 100% profit from the low 30s and went all the way up to like 74. Uh, if you've taken half of it anywhere in this area, wherever you were, if you were in 35 and you took it at 70, good. Then you have a free ride, okay? That means you take half off and you let the rest ride. Uh, again, you can't lose money when you're a hundred percent profit on something, right? I want to reiterate that. So those are two trades right there that we had this week that paid off. Um, now let's go to our negative one, and that is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is building resistance right here, and I want you guys to look at this. And I'd love it to break upwards and to go higher because. Uh, you know, all Bitcoin ever does is go up anymore, um, but that's not the price action. The price action that I'm seeing has turned out to be very negative, very slow. It's gotten up to these levels and it keeps pulling back and um, it slowly looks like it's losing its strength. Uh, but that's not to say the institutions won't come in and start buying Bitcoin, but it really doesn't look good. I've got to be honest with you. And the price action is what I pay a lot of attention to, not just what I see in patterns and uh, volume alone. Um, it, you know, uh, the price action. The only thing that I have is down here at 45K. So I'm looking for this to go all the way back down here before I would start buying again, um, which is a pretty good distance, right? That's a, a decent amount. So if some people I know are hedged, you know, they're, they're hedging their Bitcoin. And if they get back down to here, they'll take off their hedges and, and whatnot. I think that's a smart idea. Um, but that's what I see in the market right now, and I just wanted to update you guys. But we had two great trades. How can you go wrong? 100% return, 100% return on Wing and on XRP. Uh, half off, free ride, let it roll. Um, you know, and on to the next. Uh, other than that, Again, I'll just reiterate, you know, Bitcoin, very negative looking. It is what it is. I wish it didn't look like this, but it does. And uh, I will be waiting down here to start buying again. 
and later on throughout the year, um, you know, uh, I, I'm going to look forward to catch up to the trend line and to ultimately go to our hundred and eighteen thousand eight hundred and ninety four target. <laughs> so this is what I'm looking for going out throughout the year. Uh, and we might get a big pullback. And if it does, if it goes to 45K or even down back to the 35K area, so be it. Good. Then, uh, you know, then I can get fully back into it. And bye, bye, bye. Um, as you say with Jim Cramer, right? And Jim Cramer is, uh, he's CNBC and after the fact. So, Bryce, just so you know, um, yeah, I, I, he's not a bad trader. He's just a... Uh, uh, He's more theatrical comedy than anything at this point, uh, but he's not bad. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a great week. I'm just doing the update because of the big win that we had on XRP. I don't have to say anything. The charts will speak for themselves. And if you're new to the room, just sit back and watch. Don't comment. Don't be posting in the chat all the time your, your emotional, you know, you got to let that kind of stuff go. If you need help, uh, there is Roger, and he might be off, but he should be back soon, and uh, he should be able to help you if you have any questions or having any issues with setting up in, in the room and whatnot. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great week, and um, on to the next trade.